What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, your home for the 2020 World Series champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. And we've got some good, although I would say expected, not surprising news for the Dodgers, which is the Dodgers have come to an agreement on arbitration numbers with a number of their players, most notably Corey Seager, Cody Bellinger, Julio Urias among them. The Dodgers have seven players eligible for arbitration this year, and and most teams around the league would prefer to get those deals worked out ahead of time rather than having to go to an arbitrator. They would rather uh, just be able to negotiate with their players and get those done. And so, so far, the Dodgers have done that with five of the seven players still to go. The two players without an agreement yet are Walker Bueller and Austin Barnes. So we will see about that, whether or not um, they are able to uh, to get those types of deals done um, ahead of time. But so far, um, the first person to agree was Corey Knable, recently acquired from the Brewers. He agreed to a one-year deal worth $5.25 million. Uh, again, he was acquired on December 2nd. Kind of the, the Brewers didn't want to tender him a contract. The Dodgers add him uh, for very little. The second guy to add was Dylan Floro, my guy, $975,000 for Floro. Third up was Cody Bellinger, one-year $16.1 million deal for the former MVP. And then lastly, Corey Seager and Julio Urias. Seager gets $13.75 million, Urias $3.6 million. Now, you might be hearing some of those numbers and think, man, that seems low for Corey Seager. That seems low for Urias. Remember, when it comes to arbitration, these guys never get their market value. Uh, They simply get based on how history has played out. And so 16.1 is the biggest number for the Dodgers with Bellinger. Uh, and when it comes to Seager, 13 and change, that's that's a pretty big number, the biggest number he's made, obviously by far his final year before free agency. The question everyone's asking, what does this mean for Corey Seager long-term? The answer, who knows? Who knows? This doesn't necessarily mean anything. I would say, hey, it's good they came to an agreement. They've got a working relationship that this didn't get ugly and go to an arbiter and the Dodgers have to argue against Corey Seager in, in anything. So I think that's a positive sign, but I wouldn't read too much into it as far as does this mean Corey Seager is going to sign a long-term deal? and whatnot. Um, Some of these numbers came out a little higher. Urias was one that most people sort of estimated, maybe a million and a half to three. He comes in at about 3.6. So, you know, again, it seems like the Dodgers aren't necessarily too concerned this year with staying under the luxury tax, knowing all the salaries they have coming off next year. But, you know, these are big numbers, 16 million for, for Bellinger, 13 million. This was baked in to many salary projections, but some of them came in higher than what those projections would have been. So we'll see. So again, Austin Barnes and Walker Buehler still to go. We'll see if the Dodgers can get that done before the deadline. Uh, But the good news is five of the seven are agreed. Bellinger, Seager are the notable ones. Urias as well, obviously. Um, And there you go. So let us know. What do you think? Any of these numbers surprise you? Again, this is good news for the Dodgers. I wouldn't say it's surprising news for the Dodgers, though. Uh, These guys were all going to be with the team in 2021. Offers were extended to them back in December. So now it was just a formality of figuring out the numbers. Now we've got them. So stay tuned on Bueller and Barnes, whether the Dodgers can come to an agreement or do have to go to arbitration. But that's what we've got for today. So as we go, as always, Vin, tell them. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world.